What's up, everyone? Welcome back to MP Dog Gets Lit. There's a fish. There we go, about time. Choke the crankbait, look how pale he is. Woo, nice, all right buddy, chill. You wanted it, damn. <laughs> all right, first fish, look how skinny he is. It's the skinniest bass I cut all year. All right, let's see if we can get some bigger guys. Me. Noise. All right. I think I'm gonna throw this crankbait a little bit more. All right. I tied in a different swim bait. Kind of a chain match the color a little bit. I don't know what you call this. Uh. Kind of like a a camo a camo yellow maybe i don't know it's kind of a camo color to match this green i don't know kind of kind of fits in there just gonna see there's a little creek coming down right here i'm gonna see if anything's coming off feeding off this creek i might go in that creek and see how deep it is There's a fish. Yes, look how shallow he was sitting in this creek. Come on, buddy. He's caught on a rock. There we go. It's funny coming to the creek, he's sitting right there. Ooh, it's a nice bass. Come here, buddy. There he's right underneath the boat. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Ooh, nice, healthy bass. And I, I felt one bite one earlier, but it just kind of nicked at it. So awesome. All right, dude, I'll put you right back where you were, right up in this creek. All right, let's go. There's a fish. Yes, I knew there was one in this corner. Yes. Ooh, fell right off. Woo, woo, woo. Pickle, he's in the boat. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. All right, dude. Shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't jump out. Whoa, whoa. Damn, he is going crazy. I knew there was going to be one set up here in this corner. Uh, let's get you lipped, buddy. Yes. Man, the small ones are out today, man. Jeez. 
As soon as it came up over that little branch, he slammed this little minnow. Perfect. That, that looks like about all the fishing I'm going to do today. Yeah, it started at 80 degrees this morning at 6 a.m. and now it's 12 a.m. and it's 94 and it feels like 105 degrees. Ah, that's Houston weather for you, but uh, yeah, on the kayak it probably feels about 120. It's crazy because all the sun's beating down on this plastic and the heat rises up on it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the water and uh, I'm going to head to my favorite fish store in uh, Chinatown in Houston and uh, see if I can get some cichlids for my tank. So. I'll see you there. All right, got off the water, made it over here to my favorite fish and fishing supply store over here in Chinatown in Houston. Extreme Fish and Pets. All right, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can get uh, some cichlids. I'm looking for colorful, colorful cichlids because uh, the ones that I have in my tank right now, I have uh, multiple of just black and white ones, which are convicts, and they uh, multiplied. So I'm gonna see if I can get some colorful ones in here. Let's see what they got. goods they wouldn't let me videotape in there but uh, I did anyway secretly just I didn't talk all right I got these guys ready to go home all right let's get out of this heat and get in the air conditioning and get these guys in the tank all right see you when I get there all right I got these guys home uh, I'm gonna put the bags into the tank and kind of get the water to accolade to uh, to the right temperature of the tank before I put them in and release them man that more eel looks really cool He's huge. But yeah, I'm gonna get this, let them sit in there for about, I'm gonna say about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and let them in. All right, I'm gonna let this guy out first, the, the cichlid, the cichlid out first. I'm gonna use this net to pick him up so I don't put too much of that aquarium water in there. That was from the store. Ooh, it's okay, buddy. There we go. Come on, get that. There we are. Find him a hiding spot. Get this bag out of there. Alright, now time for the more radio. For some reason this guy freaks me out. He's so cool looking. But you always get those, I don't know about you, but I always get the feeling like they're electric, but I know this is an electric deal, but I'm sure they can bite you. I'm sure they have little teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, I don't know if I should net them or not. I don't have a big enough net. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this guy in. I'm grabbing his head. Alright buddy, I'm kinda gonna tilt you upside down. Just gonna drop this guy in. There he goes! He's trying to find his little spot to hide and curl up in, looks like. He's the new cichlid. He's chilling with my cichlid I caught from the, my other video that I had. 
He's a Rio Grande cichlid. I caught that in my last tank mates video. And we moved him uh, from the bass tank to this, this cichlid tank. And he's doing a lot better actually. Cause he likes eating their food and plus it's more calm over here for him. He's getting used to it. There he is. He's getting used to this tank. He's finding his, his little spots. God, he's so crazy looking. Hey, look, they came in together. They're bonded together, I guess. Jeez, he has some cool colors. Look at that purple. Or not purple, it's like magenta type color. And he has those blue spots, the black spots with blue around spots around it. And then like a greenish color on the thing. Hey, he's freaking out. <laughs> Yeah, I had to grind it out for those three largemouth bass, but overall I had fun fishing. I got out there at 6 a.m. and then fished to about 12 p.m., but from that time it jumped like 25 degrees. It started at like 85 degrees this morning and jumped up to 95, and it's supposed to feel like 105 degrees out, so. Yeah, I got off the water and I decided to, I need to add something to my cichlid tank, and I really wanted something colorful, and uh, there wasn't really, they didn't really have the selection I really wanted, like as far as like, uh, bright blues and bright red fish that I wanted to kind of mix it in with the I have a lot of convicts black and white convicts in here So I wanted to kind of get some more color in I ended up getting a moray eel and I named them tripas Which tripas means in Spanish means uh, intestines, which is kind of funny, I guess but and then uh, the other cichlid I, I don't really don't have a name for him I guess I can come up with a name later and let you guys know this moray eel I've always thought about getting one but I just never jumped on it and I figured hey didn't find any exotic, like, bright colored fish, so might as well get something exotic. All right, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe, and hit that bell button to know when I notify you when I get new videos up. And leave some comments, uh, negative, positive. Just tell me what to do, tell me what I'm doing wrong, anything. I appreciate everybody for leaving comments or asking questions. All right, till next time. Stay